this camera. Um, so we'll start with buh, 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 buh. <laughs> Kia ora koutou and welcome to Experience Bar where we're turning video games into cocktails. My name is Jack and I'll be your bartender this evening so I show you how to make a mulled wine to warm even the coldest of bones this Christmas. The Snow Bear Glow Wine from the Elder Scrolls Online. Let's get started. So it's around about this time of year that uh, various games start getting into their Christmas events, and The Elder Scrolls Online is no different. They have their New Life Festival, which takes heaps of inspiration from real-life cultures and puts them in the game. It's not technically Elder Scrolls Christmas, because it has a bunch of other things going on, but it's pretty close. It's tangential to it, at the very least. With this event comes a heap of new activities and quests and recipes, of course, one of which is Snow Bear Glow Wine, described as a a Nordic drink that is a hearty mulled wine um, made with a variety of spices and in the game jazzbe grapes, yeast and honey. To make Snow Bear Glow Wine you are going to need a pot and a heat source. A stove is absolutely fine. For the purposes of demonstration uh, I am going to be making this in a mixing bowl but you don't have to. You can just make this straight uh, into the pot if you like. Now you are going to need a wine of course for a Snow Bear Glow Wine. Uh, I am using a Pinot Noir Villa Maria. This is a New Zealand brand. It's very well known it's like kind of mid-shelf. You don't really want to use a really, really expensive one for this because you are going to be adding some spices and some other stuff to this which will adjust the flavor profile. So you don't want to get anything that's too expensive. Just, you know, mid-range is fine. You're going to use a whole bottle of this. I have slightly less than a whole bottle here uh, because we've saved a little bit for fi filming purposes, but you should use a whole bottle for this recipe. Just pop it into your mixing bowl or your pot. Now, while I was researching this drink, I came across something quite interesting. Mulled wine as an idea, as a recipe, is really old. It's actually from the second century. Uh, Romans used to make it. Probably when they went to the UK, uh, when they were coming from their nice, sunny, bright Italian roots, going to the UK during a winter would be quite a, a temperature shock. So they probably made mulled wine uh, to help get them through those winters. And they brought it with them everywhere they went. Um, so every single European country uh, has a version of mulled wine. But the general idea is the same, uh, even though the recipes, the specifics of the recipes differ. Uh, it's wine that you heat and sweeten and add spices to. Sometimes you add some spirits to it to enhance it and you serve it in a big bowl that everyone gets a nice glass full of. With so many recipes going on we've got to ask ourselves what is Snow Bear Glow Wine most like in the real world? Nords are very clearly Scandinavian inspired. They've got the Viking helmets, uh, they've got well Viking helmets. Before anyone says in the comments I know Vikings didn't actually have the horns but you know what I mean. Um, they also have uh, the Snow Bear Plunge in Elder Scrolls Online. That's their kind of cultural activity where they jump in cold water and warm themselves up by the bonfire. That's a very common Scandinavian activity during the winter. Their version of mulled wine would follow like this, called Glug. You would add, if we were making that, a stick of cinnamon, um, some lemon peels and some orange peels. I've just got one big long one, but you don't have to do that. Just get about the peel of a whole lemon and a whole orange. Um, like a handful-ish of cloves um, and some lemon and orange slices. This is a really classic mulled wine recipe. Now, if we were making glog, glug, glog, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm sorry guys. Correct me in the comments. We would be adding uh, almonds and dried fruits, so raisins normally, to this. But Snow Bear Glow Wine isn't Glow. It isn't. The Nords may be Scandinavian, but Snow Bear Glow Wine is probably closer to the German version of mulled wine, which is called Glühwein literally like heated wine or glow wine. Some people translate it directly into glow wine, so it's clearly that. That leaves us with a dilemma. What do we do when we have uh, the Scandinavian roots, clearly of the Nords, and the actual name of the drink? So I asked my Austrian friend what they drink to get kind of like a traditional recipe, and it basically follows this. But then she adds almonds and raisins, so they actually drink a Danish version of Glug. So we're kind of doing a little bit of both. We're doing a bit of Glowwine, we're doing a bit, a bit of Glog and combining them together to make Snow Bear Glow Wine. Speaking of which, we are taking a little bit of inspiration from the in-game recipe as well, uh, which is made from Jazz Bay grapes, red grapes, yeast to ferment it, and the last ingredient in the recipe, which is honey. So we're going to be adding, let's say, two-ish tablespoons, like half a cup-ish of honey. 
I am of course using uh, Manuka honey because this is New Zealand and I am legally obligated to use Manuka honey, but you don't have to, so that's probably enough. The thing is, is with making mulled wine of any description, you don't, come on, get off, fucking get off. When you're making mulled wine of any description, you're not really um, making it to a specific recipe necessarily. You're kind of eyeballing it, tasting it as you go and fixing it. Um, if it needs fixing. So at this point, we are ready to get this thing heated with one last additional ingredient, juniper berries. I wanted to take a little bit of inspiration from Skyrim here because I didn't want to just make a glue vine recipe and say that's glow wine. So we're taking juniper berries, which we know that they have from that infamous uh, intro sequence uh, where we find out that Rayloff was very fond of a mead that had juniper berries mixed in. So I'm adding about 10-ish dried juniper berries to this. And by the way, I found out later, this is actually a traditional uh, addition to German Glühwein recipes as well. So it all matches up quite nicely. So we're gonna transfer this into a pot. And we're gonna give it about 10 to 15 minutes to heat up uh, and then we'll see you then. Ba, 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 ba. So uh, this has now been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes. We've reached it to steaming, but not boiling. That's very important. And mulled wine aficionados will tell you that uh, the best way to do this is to make mulled wine in the morning, uh, let it cook all day on very, very low heat. You do not want to cook the alcohol out and uh, wait for your guests to arrive in the evening and then doll it out. Alternatively, you could make it in the morning, chill it down, let the spices infuse that way, and then bust out in the evening, warm it up, and do that. That might actually be a better way to keep the alcohol content in. Either way, it'll be nice. But this is ready to dole out. Um, <laughs> normally you wouldn't be making single servings of this, and we have made a batch here, uh, but you would grab a glass like this in the game. Snowberg Low Wine is actually in a kind of a wine glass, but the problem with those is that you have to grip the side. And if you're drinking a hot beverage, you're just gonna burn your hand. Um, so don't do that. Always get one with a handle. And it's not super, super hot, so you're not gonna break your glass, but just make sure that you've got you know, vaguely thick glass. You know, this is a tankard, so it should be fine. Now, we're gonna ladle this in. Um, I'm actually gonna pop this down here, uh, and I'm going to strain it as I pour it, because there are cloves and bits of stuff in there. If you don't have a strainer, you don't have to strain it. You know, just be careful that you don't crunch down on a clove piece as you drink it. It's fine. So, we're gonna take this off the heat, pop it over here, and scoop a dupe. Now this is quite a big glass. Normally you'd do it in a slightly smaller glass, but I'm a greedy boy, so we're gonna do it into this big glass. And then pop it back on the now turned off stove that still has a little bit of the heat to keep it warm for the next person to do a scoop. I'm leaving a little bit of a gap at the top here because we're gonna be drinking this one uh, with what the Germans call mit Schuss, with a shot. I'm gonna use brandy, some people use rum. And this might actually be, you're gonna put about 30 mils, you could put 60 mils in if you're feeling greedy. Um, some people also put this in at the start when you start heating it, but personally, I don't want to cook out all of the alcohol in this. I want it to have a little bit of heat, so we're just gonna add it now. Last of all, we're gonna add this garnish. Of course, you don't have to have a garnish. This is intended to be a party drink and you're not gonna garnish every single glass, unless you're fancy, like me. So, we are going to add a little orange round to the side and a cinnamon. Now what I've done here is I have taken the uh, iron sword from Skyrim, made my own little version, got this 3D printed. This is a material that I can't remember the name of right now, but it's not super great with uh, wetness. So we're just gonna put it back in its sheath here. There we go. And we're gonna just pop it on the side. And that is the Snow Bear Glow Wine from the Elder Scrolls Online, a mulled wine with a little bit of extra brandy added. Uh, but these drinks don't happen without some serious support from our community, so thank you to all of our patrons for helping make these drinks happen, uh, in particular Gillian Harper. I'm gonna go ahead and just take the garnish off because it's gonna spill otherwise. Uh. Cheers for the drink. Fuck, that's still really hot. Okay.
So, uh, Snow Bear Glow Wine is definitely intended to be a drink for the Nords, but personally this does remind me a lot of home in the UK. Um, it's got these, uh, it's got that slight sweetness from the honey. That's what I really appreciate about the in-game recipe. It suggests honey. Uh, other recipes for Glow, Glow Wine, Mold Wine um, suggest just plain brown sugar or caster sugar even. I think the honey gives it a little bit more depth. The otherwise, the other spices, the uh, cloves, um, the uh, cinnamon, it's just this nice warming baking spices kind of flavor. Um, and the juniper berry is a surprisingly, it's quite subtle, but it's, it's a bit spicy, actually. It reminds me a little bit of black pepper, but not quite as intense. You wouldn't want to put black peppercorns into this. It would be very, very overpowering. But the juniper berries, I don't know, it feels a little bit like that. I can see why Raelof liked them in his mead. Yeah, that is Snow Bear Glow Wine from The Elder Scrolls Online. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been Jack Stone. This has been Experience Bar. I hope you guys have a really happy holidays, however you celebrate. Uh, and you can catch us again in another couple of weeks or so to get another recipe. Uh, or you can keep up with us on Reddit, on Discord, on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, anywhere that you guys are, we are as well. Hope to see you in a couple of weeks. But until then, 